Here we go. Pause this. Hey guys, what's up? Mad Season here, back with another video for you. Well, BlizzCon 2019 has come, and with it, the announcement yep. of the new World of Warcraft expansion. Incredible. News with Classic, Diablo 4, Overwatch 2. It's a stack Overwatch convention one. this year. As is customary with the channel, I thought it would make a quick but thorough cut. The only two is how many times you have to spend money. Focusing on World of Warcraft, since that's the channel's focus. Starting with Classic here, we have what most people expected. And that's the announcement on Phase 2. And yep. that's the World Bosses, Hazard Ghost Next Kazakh, week, boys. As well as the release of Next the PvP Honor week. System. All on November 12th. Oh, it's going to be good. Yeah. Now you'll actually have a reason to ruin someone's day, as you'll now get points for it, yep. rank up, and get yep. some nifty rewards. There Keep an is. eye out for an upcoming Honor System guide that I'll be releasing on the channel pretty soon. The next big thing with current, however, is the new expansion, and that's the Shadowlands. The announcement came with two videos, a cinematic and a gameplay trailer, yep. both linked in the description. And we saw both Without of those. Without spoiling too much here, we're launching an expedition into the Shadowlands, which is a realm of decay where the souls of the dead reside. Many new zones, dungeons, raids, and of course new gameplay systems that you'd come to expect were also announced. So let's get into those. Described as being the most major are Covenants. These are factions who reside within the Shadowlands that you can join to progress a unique story and also gain some rewards such as armor, mounts, and even new combat abilities. They're Incredible. integrated into nearly every aspect of amazing. the game and are going to be key with your character progression within the Shadowlands. Uh, uh, amazing! You have the Kyrian, the Necrolords, the Night Fae, and Venthyr, each with their own unique style and rewards, and a home base to sort of serve as your order hall that you may remember from Legion. That's good. You are to receive two abilities for joining each covenant. This is the one we've seen one before. One that's tied to the covenant itself, and a choice of four that are unique to each class. So it's designed to give you a lot of variety and choice of how you want to play your character. Mm -hmm. One aspect of covenants is called soul binding. Basically, you train under certain members of these covenants to gain passive abilities, and these are also customizable to an extent with their own talent trees. I think it this seems will like be they're cool. trying to bring multiple layers of choice to make for a different experience for players of the same class. The resource of this expansion is moving from Azurite to a substance called Anima. You collect they both start with A. Your NPC that way we choice, can keep having AP. And then you progress through that talent tree. Not a whole lot of details has been shared, other than the fact that it's not like the Azurite system, where it's an infinitely grindable resource. It's supposed to be much more toned down from the sounds of it. The max level zone is called the Ma, which has some unique properties. Mm -hmm. This is described as the black void of the Shadowlands, where the most yep. villainous souls are sent. That's the where the bad boys right are now, at. Everyone, including you, are being sent there since we opened up the gateway, so to speak. So you're sent here in the beginning of that the That scene was really fucking cool. Escape, and then you return at the max level for a more unique gameplay experience. As you adventure inside the zone, your presence will become increasingly known by an entity known as the Jailer, there it is. who rules over the Ma. The longer you spend inside, the more annoyed he'll get, and he'll send yep. enemies and whatnot to try and dispatch you. The zone also holds another major gameplay system called the Tower of Torghast. This is, this is the only good thing I'm looking forward to, really. ...doable with up to five players, although you can go solo if you'd like. You go through level by level in a randomized dungeon crawl with ever-increasing difficult enemies, but also harder and harder puzzles and whatnot to solve. As the enemies increase in power, however, so do you, and through the collection of anima within the tower, you can improve your character in various I'm ways forward with to this buffs a lot. or affixes. This is the only feature in the, in the expansion I'm really looking to forward to, unique seeing how this is going to go. combinations that are promised to be different each time. And, as a reward for doing all of this, you get items called runes, which you use yep. to craft legendaries. Again, not a whole lot is shared, That's good. but legendaries are back in the game. You now craft them from materials that you obtain it's from It's about fucking guests, time. And they're designed to be highly customizable by the player, even going as far as being able to choose what slot you equip them in, what affixes you want, and also what secondary stats are tied to them. A big one, I think, is that loot in general, they said, they want to be more in the player's control. Right now, there are so many caches in the it's game. It's about time. The weekly chests that it is about fucking time, man. The right stats can be a super grindy thing. 
you're looking to alleviate this by doing things such as allowing you to choose what stats you want from craftable items, yep. and by modifying the weekly chests for Mythic Plus and PvP. It gives you a list you a of items. Of several items to choose yeah. from. That's going to be fucking and amazing. in addition to this, they're looking to make a return to class identity rather than spec identity. What they mean by this is that the specs between the classes mm. right now are so different from each oh, other man. that they may as well be different classes. Oh, man. Fire mages are wildly different than frost mages since they share nearly no abilities. And the same with shadow priests and discipline priests. They're looking to bridge this gap in a few different ways. First is by making some spells no longer spec specific and also bringing back tool sets such as the auras for paladins, totems for shamans, poisons for rogues, and sharing them all between and every spec throw. to give the class more identity. Shattering throw. It's more in line with the vanilla style yep. of the game, which sounds pretty good to me. It's obviously and been influenced by classic. Has also gone under some major At least I feel like it once is. Again. First is the squish. We're all having our levels adjusted, and the new max is 60, with our current level 120 being brought down to 50. So 50 to 60 will be your Shadowlands experience. And note that nothing but the level range is supposed to change with this. Meaning that challenge-wise, everything else is relatively the same. Yeah, we'll what see how that same, goes. however, are the actual level ranges. Right now, with world scaling, you have some pretty good freedom with where you want to level in the game, as displayed yeah. with the following ranges. It's pretty massive. When the level squish comes, for 10 to 50, you'll be able to choose any one of the game's previous expansions. It's kind of weird how everything just scales, though. For your 40 level journey. The Cataclysm, Eastern Kingdoms, it's a bit too and Calendor, for me. Outlands, Northrend, all the way up to and including Kul Tiras and Zandalar from BFA can all be your choices, so you can actually experience the full story of the expansions before you unlove them. Yeah. I'm sure that some will be faster than others, but overall, the entire leveling process will be much quicker. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to level in WAD now, in five minutes. Which may be a it's good be thing or a bad thing, depending on your perspective. And notice that I didn't even cover 1 to 10 yet, and that's because they have a new zone for this called Exile's Reach complete with its own story and introduction to the game. Wow. New players are forced to use this as an option as their first character, whereas if you already have a max level or level 50 they better make point, that good. you can choose any of the or original people are never gonna play the, the fucking game as game. well, if you so please. And since we're talking about new characters, we should also mention the improvements to character customization. Which is nice. Character creation across the board is receiving upgrades. A few tidbits they mentioned is the ability to separate faces from eye colors, <coughs> more options in general, yep. including body paint. And in addition to this, you're also now able to make every single race, including allied races, death knights. So good news for all of you pandas out there. Oh, great. There's also a new pet alpaca that you can buy from the pet shop, and proceeds from this will be donated to charity for we.org mm -hmm. and Make-A-Wish. Until the end count. of the year. And Let's keep that in mind. The shop, the Shadowlands is purchasable now if you care to pre-order. There are three editions available. <coughs> the base edition gives you early access to the Death Knight unlocks. Great. The heroic edition gives you the same and also you got that stupid boost, ass mount. The, the Ensorcelled Everworm Flying Mount. Oh boy. And the Eternal Traveler's Transmog the set. The Cosmic Dildo. And the final epic edition gives all of the above and also yep. 30 days game time. The Anima Wormling Pet. A special Hearthstone effect. And a weapon illusion called Wraith Chill. Wait, I just realized, so now do we have 120 boosts in the game? Are 120 boosts in the game now? F I am never leveling in, in BFA again. I, I am never, I, I don't care, like, I'm gonna, if my character is level 113, I am, uh, 119, I am buying the boost. I am never leveling in BFA ever a fucking again, man. Like, holy shit. Gives 388 ammo. I, that is awesome. I'm so happy. They cost 40, 60, and 80 US dollars, respectively. Yep. But that's about it. For all of the major stuff, anyways. Like I said, I wanted to focus mainly on World of Warcraft since that's the focus of the so channel. Mad, dude. I also wanted cinematic. to talk about Diablo 4 a little bit as well. So Fuck you yeah, might dude. see a video on that pretty soon. Fuck yeah, dude. Overall, in my opinion, the Shadowlands is looking like it has some potential, but it's still too early to tell. Yeah. I do like how it seems like they're going back to their roots a bit in regards to the class balance. Well, they have and to. giving these classes back their core abilities for every spec. I think that's an overall good change, but that might just be the vanilla fanboy in me speaking. There's a bit of As that. As for the other stuff, though, we'll just have to wait and see. I hope that it's good. I'm rooting for it, and I'm looking for a reason to play it more and get back into it. 
All in all though, I thought it was an alright convention. I have high hopes for Warcraft and Diablo, and I hope things turn out well for everything else, such as Overwatch 2 and whatnot, but I'm kind of indifferent. The thing I care about is if you found the video interesting or entertaining, like it if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Okay. So we knew a lot of that stuff already. I uh, actually I thought this video was going to be more about stuff that was influenced Farewell by Fox and Cloud. But uh, either way, I, I'm I'm kind of excited. Yeah, see, I, I thought it was going to be with Classic. I, I was a little bit confused there. I, at some point, I will watch this right now, the Diablo 4. But right now, we need to get ready for Molten Core. Okay. Like, we've spent a lot of time fucking around. We've spent a lot of time messing around, clowning around, having fun, etc. Right? And I think that now, it may be time to do the Molten Core. Gentlemen. Make your way over to Stormwind. Everybody, make your way over to Stormwind. All of the people in my raid, make your way over to Stormwind. We're going to do it over there, and that way we can get the Anixia buff, okay?